Hey, you're watching Vinyl for Miles, your best resource for music and vinyl reviews. Today we're going to be talking about record storage solutions, the best way to store your records, keep them nice and pristine and sounding new. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Vinyl for Miles. Quick music shout out to Nick Johnston and his new album, Wide Eyes in the Dark. As you can see, I'm repping his new t-shirt. I got the deluxe version signed. If you guys are a fan of instrumental guitar music, definitely check this out, Nick Johnston. All right, so let's get into it. Vinyl storage. The correct way to store your records, for the record, is not horizontally. Never stack your records like this for more than a few hours. This is not good for the record. It puts unwanted pressure and can cause warping. The correct way to store your records is vertically, like this. When your records are stored vertically, there's no outer pressure pushing in on them. There's just the weight of the record vertically going down to the bottom of the sleeve. It does not cause warping. The best way to store your record, it's the easiest way to visually identify your record. So that's the basics. Don't ever stack like this, stack like this. There's all different types of options you can get. There's Ikea storage cubes. I use one from Target. I got one from Walmart. Anything that has a 12 by 12 storage unit, you can stick your records in and properly store them. So I'm gonna show you guys a few things I've been doing the past few years that work really well for me. If you wanna preserve the artwork and preserve the record itself, there is hundreds of options out there. I'm gonna go over a few of them. So when you get a brand new record, it's going to be shrink wrapped and what a lot of people do is if it's not a gatefold, this one's a gatefold here, if it's just a single sleeve, most people will just slice the side of it here, keep the shrink wrap on and then pull the record in and out of that opening and keep it in the shrink wrap and that's all they do. Now I have it on good authority not to do that. There's a few reasons why. When a product is shrink wrapped, what that does is it puts pressure on the top, bottom, left and right of your album cover and the longer that pressure is on there, the more likely the record is to warp. It's been debated, there's people who say, oh, that's a myth, blah, blah, blah. Slicing it open on the side definitely relieves some of that pressure, but the biggest issue if you have pressure on the top and the bottom, not on the left and not on the right, is your sleeve will bow open like this. And with a bowed open sleeve, it'll close when you store it, but it just annoys me having a bow open like that. And the best way to avoid it is to put it into a poly sleeve, a poly protective sleeve. There's all different types of poly protective sleeves. There's two millimeter, four millimeter, crystal clear, matte. There's the ones that look kind of foggy. The first pair I got was from Fry's Electronics. I think it was vinyl style, two millimeter, super cheap poly sleeves. When I first got my poly sleeves, I noticed it was just a total pain. First of all, fitting the record, especially gatefold sleeves, over this, the poly sleeve like this. See how tight that is? It was just a total pain. So what I ended up doing was storing them horizontally where the opening is, and I would slide the sleeve directly over like this. And again, this is a real cheap sleeve. Now it's protecting the artwork. I can easily have access to my record in here. The only problem is when I go to put this back into my storage area, it starts to pull backwards. That's with it on the outside. Let's try this again. There it goes. Look what's happening. You see that? That's not good. You don't want your records looking like this. All right, so a quick fix is you wanna have it top to bottom. You want the opening of your sleeve at the very top. It is a bit of a pain. You're gonna to have to pull the album cover out to pull the record out, but with it like this, watch how easy it is to slide it into your storage. It goes right in. It looks clean. You don't have the plastic sticking out like I just showed you. So if you're gonna do this on the cheap, just make sure the opening of your poly sleeves at the top. So I've recently been on the search for something that would fit my needs a little better and I'm also getting a little tired of having to pull my record in and out, the album cover in and out every time I wanna put the actual record on. So through my searching online, I found a company called Vinyl Storage Solutions, I believe they're in Canada, and what they have is a really cool, innovative way to store your records that I've been looking for for quite a while. So here's an example of vinyl storage solutions. But the cool thing about this is when you flip it over, there's an extra pocket on the back where you can slide your disc in and out. So the record cover itself, it's sealed in there. There's a little 
sticky uh, adhesive here so you seal your record in, but then there's a bonus pocket on the back where you could slide your record in now. So if I want to listen to this record, all I have to do is slide the disc out, put it on the turntable, slide the sleeve right back in, put this up on the wall, listen to my record when I'm done, easy, put it back in the sleeve, put it in the bottom, slide it back into my storage area. Super cool. What we're gonna do is put the Crow Score <laughs> into one of these vinyl storage solution sleeves. So to start it off, what we're gonna do is take the record and the inner sleeve out, like so. On the outer sleeve, you're gonna wanna find where that, that adhesive strip is. And where the adhesive strip is, you want it facing down and you want it facing towards you. And what you're gonna do is take the album cover, you're gonna flip the artwork away from you, and you're gonna slide it in vertically into the sleeve, all the way in, so that the very back and the bottom align with the adhesive strip. Now next, we're gonna go ahead and pull off the adhesive strip here. It's very satisfying to hear it. And once that is off, we're going to, watch out baby girl, Fold the flap on the outside over the adhesive strip, like this. And then go ahead and slide your finger along the adhesive area to seal it, and there you go. So my album cover is now sealed inside of the outer sleeve, and on the back we have this extra pocket for us to put the record in. When you're putting the record in the pocket on the outside, make sure that the opening where the record comes out is not facing straight up. You're gonna to wanna to have it facing to the left or you wanna have it facing to the right. So there you go. I have mine facing to the left and the reason I'm doing this is if this falls out of my hands, the record's not gonna fall out and hit the ground opposed to having it vertical like this, there's a high chance of this record falling straight out like this. So when it comes to inner sleeves, typically, you're gonna get this. It's pretty much the worst thing you could stick your records into. Almost less than a year into me collecting records, I noticed every time I pulled them out of these cheap paper sleeves, I would find all kinds of little bits of paper in there and I would discover new scratches on my record and scuffs that weren't there before. So I got fed up with this. I did notice most of my records that came from bands who I consider to be audiophiles or if it was from a reputable label, they would include sleeves like this. They're hybrid sleeves. So it looks like it's a paper sleeve. Uh, if we take the disc out, you can see there's a poly layer on the inside that keeps static off the record and also keeps it from scratching. Now these are cool and it's awesome when labels actually put their records in this and manufacturers put their records in this. It means they really care about the media. So what I've discovered is there's quite a few different brands out there that offer inner sleeves for your records. So the most reputable is MoFi Digital Master Sleeves. And what this is, is a mix of a poly sleeve and some rice paper to give it rigidness. So when you're putting it in and out of your album, it's not gonna fold over. The only problem with this is they're, they're pretty expensive. So I did find something cheaper than these. It's from Square Deal Recording and Supplies. Here it is here. It is virtually identical to the MoFi Original Master Sleeves, but it's about $15 cheaper for a pack. So I couldn't pass this up. I mean, I tried them out. They're almost identical, exact same quality. They're actually a little more rigid too with the rice paper on it. And the coolest thing is it has discs landing on a planet here, like they're UFOs. I just think it looks super cool. Uh, so I'll link these below in the description. I mean, compare the two. This is MoFi and this is the Square Deal. I mean, they're pretty much identical. They make the same noise, it's the same thickness. Uh, so I mean, it's really up to you how much you want to spend on something like this. That's what I use for my storage solutions. And you know, quick plug to Vinyl Storage Solutions for sending me these two demo packs, one for two mil, one for four mil. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna put a link below in the description. Check it out. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and subscribe, check out my other videos. If you did not enjoy it, again, you got pretty far into a video you didn't like, so I apologize. All right, see you guys next time.